y'all welcome back to my channel today's video is super fun because it is a autumn dinner and dessert collab and so we've got a few ladies here um, that are going to get together and we are all going to share an autumn dinner now this is um, a night to me an autumn dinner it makes me think of like a nice hearty dish and so that's what I've got for you guys today so I'm making a nice hearty beef roast with some carrots and it's some good old homemade mashed potatoes. And then for dessert, we have a caramel pumpkin pecan pie with some Cool Whip. So to me, that sounds amazing. And what makes it even better is that I'm cooking the pot roast in the Instant Pot so that I can have it ready on a weeknight with me working through the day. So like I said, this is a collab. And so I will have the playlist link in the description box below. So y'all can go down there and check out all of the awesome dinners that we will have for you guys coming from all kinds of YouTubers. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So to start off, I have just got my Instant Pot here. And I'm going to slow cook this all day since, like I said, um, I'm going to be working. And then when we come home, it will either be all the way done or it will need like 10 minutes in a pressure cooker. So, The last time I did a roast in a pressure cooker, it turned out perfect. Or did it like this with slow cooking it through the day, and I only had to come home, pressure cook it for 10 minutes, and y'all, it fell apart. It was great. So I've got a boneless beef chuck roast here that was on sale at Kroger. It was $20, and I got it for nine bucks. So I'm just going to take it and put it in here early and I gotta leave so I'm not worrying about searing it or anything <laughs> we ain't got time for all that so I'm gonna plop it in there and then I've got a packet of brown gravy just Kroger brand and I've got a packet of dry ranch this one come from Aldi so I'm gonna sprinkle some of it on this side and then I'm gonna flip it and sprinkle on the other side. And then I've got a cup of water because of course you always need some moisture in there. And then that water as it's cooking, that gravy is going to thicken up and so it's going to thicken up that water. So I'm going to raise it up just to make sure that that water gets all over the bottom. So like with any brown, rave, brown gravy roast, you can add any root vegetables you want. You can add potatoes, you can add carrots, anything. Um, and so I, I think for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to serve it with mashed potatoes. So I'm just going to throw in these carrots here. I've only got like a half a bag. I'm just going to throw these all around so they can get nice and cooked down. That way we already have a side in here and then all I have to do is come home, cook some mashed potatoes, and we're done. And then, like any good southern dish, you need some butter. We're just going to pop that baby right on there. Okay, so I'm going to set this for slow cook. 
And I'm gonna set it for 11 hours. And then I don't have an instant pot lid, which I need to order one. So I'm just gonna put that lid on there. And we're good to go. So now dinner is partially done. And then all I got, like I said, all I gotta do when I come home this evening is either pressure cook it if it still needs a couple more, a little bit more time, and then cook the mashed potatoes. And we have a nice hearty autumn dinner on a weeknight. <laughs> How amazing does that sound? Okie dokie, y'all. So I'm home from work. About to shred up this roast. So we've got the roast. Got the carrots in there. So I ended up um, adding in, I'm going to cook a can of green beans. And then I'm starting some mashed potatoes. But that's it. Once I mix the mashed potatoes, get all that together, dinner is done. So I'm so excited. It looks so stinking good. So I will have this recipe linked in the description box for you guys to check out. Okie dokie y'all. So we are about to get started on this caramel pumpkin pecan pie. So of course there's a bunch of recipes out there on Pinterest. Y'all can definitely Pinterest this. Um, but this is a combination between um, a pumpkin pie, or yeah. So the pumpkin pie, we just always do basic and go by the back of the can. Super chill. Um, but the um, pecan pie part my mom and I made these caramel pecan pies a few years back for a catering event. And y'all, we've been making them since. They're absolutely delicious. And so I had this idea to do half pumpkin, half of the caramel pecan in one pie dish. So of course this recipe normally makes like one full pie. So we're just gonna be dividing it um, and doing two pies since we're doing two pie recipes. <clears throat> and then the pumpkin will be at the bottom. And then of course the caramel pecan will be on top and then we will bake it in the oven. And y'all, this is just so delicious. So I'm so excited. So I have this, I have my caramel um, pecan recipe right here. I'll have it typed out in the description box for you guys. But I, so I'm gonna go by this um, today. And then like I said, I just used the back of the can for the pumpkin pie recipe. And I bought, uh, evaporated milk by accident but it says on here if you're using evaporated milk just add a half to three-fourths cup of granulated sugar so that's what I'm gonna do so of course it calls for sweetened condensed milk I oopsied and bought the wrong thing but luckily they already know everybody does that so they put directions for that which is great so we're gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna start on the um, pumpkin part first that way it will already be down first layer in the pan 
Um, I am using these pre, um, these ready to bake um, deep dish pie crust. I would recommend using deep dish um, since it's, you know, a pretty full pie. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna set the camera up and then y'all can just watch me go along and I'll try to give instructions throughout. Okay, so I've got that all mixed together. And like I said, we're going to divide this into two. Since we're going to be doing two pies. A couple little marks in there. And I'm just going to pour this in. Now you want it to be about halfway up. I have an extra pie dish, um, pre-made pie shell in the fridge if I need it. But this should be okay. You just want it halfway up. That way you have room for your caramel pecan on top of that. So like I said, I have that other pie shell, so I'll just throw that in the other pie shell. And if I have enough of the caramel topping, then we can make three pies out of this. So y'all will see towards the end if that is what it makes. And so two, two pies, we'll see if it actually makes the three. So let's go ahead and get started on the caramel uh, pecan part. Okie dokie, so to start off this caramel pecan pie, we are going to start making the melting the caramels down. So this calls for 36 caramels. So I'm just going to use these. If I can get them open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and unwrap 36 of these and put them in this pan and I'll be right back. Okie dokie, so to the caramels, I'm going to add in half of a stick of butter, which is a fourth a cup, and then a fourth of a cup of milk. Now we're just gonna let this all cook down. And melt all together and get nice and smooth. I wanted to mention as well to make sure that you're doing this slowly so you don't scorch the caramel because that would just be awful. So I've just got it on four on my stove and I'm just watching it and I'm moving it around so that way it doesn't scorch. Um, but you just want it to all melt together. Okay, so now while we're letting that melt down, we're gonna mix together the rest of the ingredients. So I'm gonna be using these salted pecans 
um, roasted salted pecans from Nutstop. I've used their stuff before. I love their products. So I'm definitely going to have everything listed in the description box below. So y'all can go check them out. And I do have a coupon code. So it just calls for a cup of nuts. I like them chopped up. You don't have to. Um, you can take and like arrange them at the top if you want whole. Um, but personal preference, I like them chopped. So in this bowl, we're going to mix together the sugar, which is three-fourths of a cup. Three eggs. Half of a teaspoon of vanilla. And then a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to do like a pinch because these um, pecans are salted, roasted salted pecans. So do a little pinch. Give this a good mix. So this pie by itself is amazing. If you want to make this um, like just by itself and make like just a caramel pecan pie, it is so amazing, y'all. So amazing. But I was like, you know what? Let's do the best of both worlds and let's com combine the pumpkin pie with the caramel pecan pie going to be an explosion in your mouth. Let's be honest. Okay, so our caramel is all melted and mixed together. So you got to remember there is eggs in here, so you don't want to add it all at once. Add a little bit. Let's get together. You want to bring this up to temp because otherwise if you just poured all this in there, you would have scrambled caramel eggs. And I don't think that would be very good. So we're just going to slowly temper this in to our egg mixture and then we will add in our pecans. Just add a little bit at a time, keep that moving. I cannot wait for this. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay. Once it's got the night over for a Christmas plan. I'm probably going to do a lot of editing to edit out so I don't get copyrighted. But let's move back over here. Okay, so now that we got that all mixed together, we're 
we're gonna add in our pecans. It calls for one cup. And like I said, you can, um, you know, make it pretty on top of the pie with the whole pecans if you want. I don't know, I just like them better chopped up. That, like I said, that's just personal preference. Or you could do some of them chopped up and then do a pretty decoration on top. You know what I'm saying? Like you can, y'all do you. Okay, so I got it all mixed together. Now we're gonna bring the pies over here and we will put this on top and then we'll get them in the oven. I do have the oven preheated at 350. So it's nice and hot and ready to go. So this batter did only do the two pies, which was fine. So that other one I can just bake and we'll have like a half of a pumpkin. So I'm gonna take my knife and kinda swirl it a little bit. This one looks a lot better than the other one. can see that there's a lot like more of the caramel on that one but it'll all taste good okay so I've got like I said I've got the oven preheated at 350 we're gonna pop these in the oven I would say starting out check after 30 minutes and then depending on how long I'll make sure to I'll let y'all know exactly how long they took to bake so you know as reference They just come out of the oven y'all they look so freaking good and smell delicious so I will definitely cut into this once they are cooled so y'all can see the inside but it did really good baking it didn't like mix together like you can tell like the texture difference from just the pumpkin to the caramel pecan so I cannot wait to cut into this and to see the inside I'm so excited y'all so excited <laughs> but they cooked for um almost an hour it was like right at 50 ish minutes so of course it's just going to depend on your oven and i did cook them at 350 so oh that looks so good okay y'all so i just cut into it there's what it looks like So freaking excited to try this. So it's gonna have the creaminess from the pumpkin pie, and then it's gonna have the crunchiness from that caramel pecan. Oh, it is so good. All 
And that is it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this autumn dinner and dessert video. Don't forget that this was a collab, and I will have the playlist link in the description box below. So y'all can go over and check out all of the autumn dinner and dessert videos. And I hope that you get all kinds of fall feels dinner inspiration. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Please comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.